Hi, this is Greg with Engaging Teacher. I'm starting a new TPT store and guiding me through the process will be Rebecca. She started her TPT store over five years ago and has agreed to answer my questions and share her experiences running an online business. All right, so when I'm looking to create a product, I know that I need to have, if I want to make it cute, I'm going to have a background. I'm going to have um, some super cute fonts and some clip art. Okay. Um, and that's if I'm making a PowerPoint presentation. If I want to do like a worksheet, then I'll need some borders, probably still clip art and my font. And you can find all that on Teacher Pay Teacher? Yep. And so the first thing is a lot of people go in and because it's all super cute, they start buying it all, <laughs> which I'm guilty. Um, when, if you're first starting out, I would look for the free items first and then work your way up, find out what your style is, and then go ahead and start investing in the clip art. Okay. All right. So when you are looking for, let's start with the digital papers. You're just going to come up to your search bar, digital paper, and the first thing is it will show you, it'll sort it by relevance. You can also sort by bestseller, rating, price, and then most recent. So this would be whoever had just recently added it. Okay. Also down over here on the price side, you can go ahead and select free. And that's going to give you all of the free papers. Okay. Okay. You can absolutely scroll through pages. You can do this all evening. <laughs> and I have done it all evening. Um, and I would recommend in the beginning, you're going to have to invest some time to figure out who you like, which style is going to work for you. Okay. Um, and then if, because if you look, 1 through 24 of 3,523 results. Wow. Okay, so that's that's a lot. Yeah. Um, so kind of figure out what the look is that you want, um, what it is that you're going for. I would download a couple of um, different artists to see what it is that you like about them and what would work for you. Additionally, make sure that you're reading their terms of use because you want to make sure that if it's in a product that you're going to be selling, that they have given you permission to use it for that purpose. If you're just doing it for your classroom, for your own personal use, then you can use any of these. But if you're gonna be selling it, you wanna make sure that somewhere in there they've told you, and this seller right here tells you right in the beginning, commercial use. Okay. okay. It doesn't always tell you that, so sometimes you'll have to go in and look at their terms of use. So let's go to this store here. Sometimes it will tell you in the product description. So if we're looking here, terms of use. All graphics may be used for personal and or commercial use. So okay. you're good. Um, there are some sellers though that actually put it as an extra file within the file. So you have to download it and look at their terms of use within it. Okay. okay. So just wh wherever it is, you've got to find it and make sure it's okay to use. Okay. Okay. So this seller is somebody that I'm pretty familiar with. I've used a lot of her stuff. Red just, pepper. Yep. I'm just going to show you her store. And she is one of many. So let's see. We're going in here. And we're just looking for something that we think is kind of fun. I like the animal prints. Let's do that. So in order to get this onto your computer, you need to download it. Um, a tip, I would start thinking about whatever organization system you want to use now because you're going to have to put them in folders and you're going to need to be able to find it later on. Okay. So I've heard some sellers will download it and store them by the actual creator so they would have a red pepper file. Mm. Um, some people do it by category. They would have a digital papers, animal prints. Okay. So it just depends on where it's going to be easiest for you to find it. Okay. Okay. So anyway, I hit download. And if you look here, it says digital paper zip. This is a zip file, meaning there's lots of different pieces in here that is in one big file that they have compressed. So we need to uncompress it. 
So you're going to click on it, and this will be different depending on the type of program you have to unzip it. So I'll show you what mine looks like. Mine might be different than yours. I have a program called pzip. All right, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to click on Animal Hides. Is pzip free? Yes, this one was free. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go to File and Extract. Then I need to figure out where am I going to save this. And right now, let's just save it to my desktop. And there it is. Okay. And I have it where it deletes it as soon as it does that because I don't want 15 copies of the same thing. All right. So just so you can see, there it is on my desktop. Okay. I highly recommend that you don't store things on your desktop because it's going to make your computer slow. So wherever you're going to store it, if you're storing it in the cloud, wherever it is, save it to there. Okay. But this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay. All right. So now I have my digital paper. And you said besides digital paper, you also use clip art. Clip art. So let's find some clip art here. All right, so again, I typed in clip art. It automatically sorted it by relevance. I can come down here and click free. And it's going to take me to the free stuff that has sold quite a bit. Um, this author right here, Krista Walden for Creative Clips, she's very well known. You'll see her clip art in a lot of places. Um, she offers a lot of really good stuff for free for you to try, but you will get addicted to her stuff because it's adorable. <laughs> um, and so she also has borders, which is very helpful because in the same place you can get your clip art and you can get the borders for your worksheets that you're going to do later on. Okay, but you can also do a search for borders separately? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. All right, so I want to keep scrolling down and just kind of take a peek at all of the different things that are free. Whimsy Clips is another very well-known one. Rebecca B, also very well-known. Now the same thing applies that applied to the um, digital paper that you need to make sure that it's okay for commercial use if you're going to be selling your stuff. Okay. Okay. Edgy Clips is another one. She's one of my absolute favorites. I think everything she does is adorable. So you can see though, there's lots of different options here. I'm still only on page one. And again, wow. one through 24 of 27,000 things. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to look, let me see. I don't know if Educlips has any animals that are free. I'm also going to open up a Crystal Wald in here too, just so I can go to their stores. And okay. I'm going to look and see what they have for free. Now, if I were to go into my own personal vault, I have pretty much a ton of their stuff, but I just want to show people how it can be done for free right now. All right, so right now I'm in Creative Clip Store. That's the Crystal Walden. And I'm going to scroll down and on her custom categories, you can see all of the different things that she's got. She has an animals category, so that's helpful. And this is something she created. So that's not a TPT thing, that's her custom categories. Oh, I see. On her store. On her store. Okay. So hers, you can see her products, it sorts by most recent. So it puts up her newest thing first, which is good for the people that follow her because they can see the new stuff. But I'm going to sort it by price. And I can see here, it will give me the things that she's got for free first. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. I don't know if Educlips has anything like this or not. She's got animal cuties, which must be a, a line that she's got going on, and animals and insects. Let me click that. <laughs> she also has her sorted by most recent. Let me do price. And so she's got cute little spiders there if you're doing like maybe a Halloween thing. All right, so let me look over here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think what's going to go with my 
themed wallpaper and it was animal all different prints. animal prints but right now unicorns are very trendy um people love them and i would go with an animal print right sure so i'm going to open that up and i'm going to follow that same process for downloading i'm just going to double check here terms of use read my free terms of use for more information about personal and commercial use so she's put a uh, link right in here i'm just going to do that right now just to make sure before I get too attached to this and then I read it and I find out I can't use it. So okay. Just want to be sure that it's okay. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to open up this PDF and I'm going to quickly read through here and see what it says. And this is educational use slash commercial use. Uh, may be used to create educational resources to be sold on websites such as Teachers Pay Teachers, etc. Um, all images must be incorporated into new original resource and cannot be sold as printable graphics alone. So basically don't take her stuff and sell it as your own. If you're going to okay. take it and use it in your own product, that's totally fine. Okay. But don't say here, this is mine because it's not, it's hers. Okay. Um, this is a big one. Images must be secured as a JPEG or PDF file to protect designs. So if you have her image sitting on top of something, and somebody can open your product and just copy that and take her image. That's not kosher. <laughs> okay. Like you need to be able to make sure that it's locked in there so that the person that's buying your resource can't pull her work out of it. Is that something you can show us later? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. So that's that. I can close all of those. Now I know that I'm okay to use this, so I'm going to hit download. And again, it's a zip file. Almost everything that you do with well, a lot of things on TPT are zip files. So just get used to opening them and extracting them. All right, so file, extract. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Again, not always what you want to do, but get in the habit of doing that. And you can see here, this will be her terms of use. These are her images, and this is probably her cover, yeah. So the things that you're gonna want are in this folder, Creative Clips Rainbow Unicorn Images, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna get rid of all of that. And just to double check. All right, so now I've got my digital paper. I've got my unicorns, now I need a cute font. And so the search process for this is going to be the same idea. It's going to go up to the top and you're going to click fonts. Now fonts are one of those things that there's typically not a lot of them that are free for commercial use so you really need to read the terms of use to make sure. Okay. If you're buying a single font they're not very expensive, a couple dollars. Um, a lot of creators, though, sell them in bundles, which is wonderful and time consuming because they're so cute. You have to figure out which one it is that you want to use. Okay. Okay. So a couple of the, the bigger sellers are um, A Perfect Blend, Amy Grossbeck, uh, Kimberly Gesswine, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I use a lot of her stuff. I like it because you can buy a single font license for $5. Mm. But let's see what we can find if there's any that are free for commercial use. So for example, when I clicked free, this first one, Hello Fonts, it says right here, personal and non-commercial. So you cannot use these in something that you are going to sell. You have to buy a commercial use license. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm sure I'm probably butchering her name, but Kimberly, mm -hmm. um, she has made her entire library of fonts available to teachers for use in their classroom, and it's free, and it's like hundreds of different fonts. Okay. But if you want to use them, again, for commercial use, then you need to buy that license. I see. Okay. Let's see. This is Crystal Walden again. Free font, Vacation Doodle, Creative Clips fonts. What does she have? 
You may use this font for personal or commercial use. So she actually gives you the ability to use it for both. Um, here's one that has commercial use right there, and that's free. Okay. So you'll you just have to go through and look and see what it is that you are you want to use. Okay. Um, let's do this one. Font freebie sea salt for commercial and personal use. Wonderful. Let's open that up, and we're going to download that. And again, it's a zip file. So we want to extract it. And I'm going to save all of that to my desktop. And you can see here's the font. It's got the TTF in there. Um, there's two types. There's a true type font and an open type font. I don't know the difference. so. I'd love to tell you I did. <laughs> um, here's her logo, so if you want to give her credit at the end, um, and typically if you're using something that's free, you need to give them credit, and they'll ask for that. Um, you'll have a page at the end of your product that says, hey, this is where I got my graphics, this is where I got my clip art and my fonts, and you're going to give her store credit, and you're going to link back to her store, so that if somebody looks at your product and they're like, oh, that's adorable, they can just go right there and buy it themselves. Okay. Okay. All right, so now I've got my fonts, I've got my paper, and I've got my clip art. I am ready to start creating in PowerPoint. <laughs>